Nay. This happens every video. <laughs> I'll make a montage. One day. Oh, are you okay? Okay. All right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mallory. I'm also really new here on YouTube, so we can be new together. I make fashion, lifestyle, graphic design, all the types of videos. Not really even sure how to label myself yet, but that's my thing. This video is a graphic design tutorial. I'm actually a graphic designer full time. That's my job. Digital illustrations like this have become super popular, so I decided it would be fun to do a little tutorial. I'll be using Adobe Illustrator, which is my favorite program to use for stuff like this. If you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can do a free trial and test the waters and see what you think. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so all I've done is get the photo, place it in Illustrator, and click on it and go to Object at the top menu bar and select Lock. And that way the photo won't move while we're tracing it. So now I've started tracing. I like to start out by just tracing like an outline of everything. So my ear, my face, my neck, and if my chest is showing, just any skin that you can see that's kind of like connected. That's kind of my starting point usually. And then I'll um, select the eyedropper tool right there and kind of do like a color that's in my skin tone of the photo. But all of this is just to give me an idea. I'm going to go back in and, you know, perfect it at the end. Now I'm going to do my glasses. I'll just kind of do the frame for now. And connect each side now I'm gonna go in and draw circles like that and kind of select each point um, you can use that little triangle selection tool and move each point around to make it fit it does not have to be perfect because what we're gonna do is select the frame. Well, first we're gonna turn these like a gray color. Then select the frame that we drew first, not the circle, don't select the lens part. And then go to object arrange, bring to front, and that way it is on top of it so you don't have to worry about the circles being like a perfect shape. Now I'm just gonna make these gold. You can go in and perfect the corners and angles, anything like that. Now for my eyelashes, I just like to draw the lash line and then go in and do individual lashes on top of it. With the stroke panel, you can make the ends round like that so that it's not like a flat square edge. Then I'm gonna bring it to the, bring the glasses to the front so that it overlaps the other end of the lash line. Then we're gonna go to the paintbrush tool and I'm gonna use this to draw my lashes. That's the brush tool. We need to make a new brush. I always just do what's selected and then just press OK and if it's too big you can double click it and go in and get like make it really small and even if it's still too big it's okay right now we're really just trying to like draw them I'm trying to go slow in some parts so that you get like basic tools down and then speed up other where I'm just tracing. So right now, brushes are important, so we're going to talk about those. Can I drop it to match the lash line? But then at the top where it says stroke or on the stroke panel, you can go in and make it smaller or bigger based off of, you know, what your brush was. It doesn't really matter. You can go in. I made these all smaller. Now I'm just adjusting points. We're going to go back to the eyelashes in a second. I'm going to go ahead and trace my eyebrow. Once again, select the sunglasses, bring them to the front so that they're covering. Same thing here. 
Now I'm gonna start doing like contouring, I guess. Um, I usually just like to find shadows on the face. It's always important to do like the jawline. Um, I just kind of use those to show a little definition back in the stroke bar, making it round on the edge instead of flat. Do your nose. All about tracing. <laughs> Now for my lips, I'm gonna, I usually do an upper lip and a bottom lip and then go back in and adjust them so that they connect. Now I'm just getting an idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna go back in on the lips here and this is something to pay attention to. You can do what I just did and on the pen tool, select the one with the plus sign and add point. So add a point and then select it. And then you can go in and kind of move them, move each point. If you use the selection tool that it's just, if you're a beginner, it's easier to think about them as one that's filled in and one that's not. This one selects everything, the one on the left. So now if I wanna go in and do individual points, I'm gonna need to do the one on the right in the menu bar. For eyelashes, I just copy and paste and move them around so that I can you know, make it look fuller. Just kind of playing around with different colors here. Now I'm gonna do some highlight, tracing shapes again. It looks weird while you're doing it, but in the end, when you have colors and all, it'll everything will flow together. For my ear, I always do another like shape on top of um, the skin or the outline I've drawn, and do it like a slightly different color just to show some definition. Now I'm doing my earring. I know it feels like I'm going fast in some parts, but it's just tracing. Like I'm stopping to explain the important stuff slower. For my hair, I do it separate and it's gonna be on top of the outline of my um, skin and shirt. We haven't gotten to that yet. You can go in and do highlights like for the blonder parts and all, but right now I'm just doing one solid dark here. I'm going to go back in and trace that piece that's hanging down. I always like to do my part as a lighter color to show some definition. Now I'm going to do the ponytail on top. Make sure that it covers. And you can color it like the um, dark color that, or whatever color for your hair. For the bag, once again, just tracing. I did not do the bag part <laughs> perfect by any means. Instead of doing those individual chains, I just did one long, I just, to save time. For my shirt, I'm gonna do like the outline of the top and underneath my arms and select copy, and then I'm gonna keep drawing the rest of it and then fill it in a solid color and then go to edit, paste in place, and that way that outline is there. From the, it's just important to outline like, so you have definition under your arms. Add some shadows, just like the face. For the necklace, um, same thing. I'm gonna actually use a font for the letters. And then I'm not gonna do the L upside down just for sake of it being legible. Now for my arms, I am going to do the outline once again. Bring the shirt to the front, go in and fix any holes. Same thing on the other side. Fix any holes. Adding an anchor point with the plus sign of the pen tool so that I can move it. Doing my pants now. This is all like, you know, it's real flexible. 
you can be a little bit, you know, less precise. For my bag, I really just use like circles to do the chain and all. Then for your legs, you just want to make sure that you send it all to the back so that your pants are on top, which you'll be using a lot of the object arrange. It's in the back and front tool. Now I'm gonna go in and kind of trace these cactuses a little bit. I didn't do all of them just because I was trying to like make this video as short as possible without having to breeze through so much. It would have been literally an hour if I didn't speed up anything. So you can go in and, you know, use the pen tool, use the little arrow on the pen tool to change anchor points to be rounded out or a sharp edge. All of this will make so much sense if you're actually doing it. It's so easy once you, you know, get in there and play around with it yourself. Trace the details of the bag and I'm going to make them a slightly darker white more of a grayish white so that they stand out against the white bag and then I'm gonna make all the chain details the same gold that I've used earlier bringing them all to the front making them all gold make that part gold not blue <laughs> and then the off-white color so now I'm going in and just like picking out the best skin tone to use kind of or tracing my ring and then or rings and then I'm gonna go in and pick out the best skin tone that kind of matches and then just for fun, I did trace my little design that I had done when I posted this picture. Which is probably the easiest part of the whole process. Um, yeah, I, sometimes I trace my watch to, for this I just did my ring just to like show like some finger definition. Um, so you can see it looks like it just gives a little bit more. For stars, you can use the star tool. You don't have to trace them individually. You can just make them yourself. And that's the finished product. And then they are side by side. Um, I kind of went through this really quickly and just for the sake of time, but if you have any questions, comment them below and I'll definitely respond back to you. The easiest way to get into Illustrator is to just kind of do it yourself and play around with it. So that's my advice to get started for sure. You can do a free trial if you don't have it, but that's definitely what I would recommend. I hope you guys liked that video. Again, if you have any questions, please comment them below. I promise I'll get back to you. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button. I think that's all the things I should hit at the end of the video. I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.